Hi, in this video, we're going to be discussing the different options available to you for deploying DNS filter. You will learn how to deploy DNS filter for both on-site and off-site protection, learn to assign policies to control what should be and should not be allowed on your network, and assign block pages that will be displayed when a user tries to visit a blocked domain. Ready? Let's get started. All your deployment configurations can be found in the deployment section on the side menu of your DNS filter dashboard. So let's go ahead and expand that. To set up any type of deployment, you first need to create a site. A site represents a single physical location or network and is always identified by an IP address. You can create a site by giving it a name and filling in the IP address. Once the site is created, you can then apply a filtering policy under the policy column to assign the threat protection and content filtering rules for the site. You can also select a specific block page for this site or use the default one provided by DNS filter. Once the site is created and configured, you can now deploy DNS filter using any of the deployment options we will now discuss. The first and simplest deployment option is network forwarding. This deployment option is set up by changing your network settings for DNS to forward your DNS traffic to DNS filter. DNS filter maintains two Anycast IPs displayed down here. 103.247.36.36 and 103.247.37.37. Once you have configured your DNS settings to point to our Anycast IPs, your DNS requests are automatically forwarded to us. This configuration can be done at the firewall, router, or modem level. Basically any device that handles your outbound traffic. Network forwarding helps provide a blanket policy that will cover all your devices including printers, file servers, and any other node on your network. This type of deployment is most useful in scenarios where you have no control over a user's device and can't install software on it. For example, guest Wi-Fi, as commonly found in your airports, and restaurants. Next we have roaming clients. These are software agents installed on portable devices like laptops and phones that make use of your network and can be taken off-site. The roaming client software binds to the network adapter on your device enabling offline protection by enforcing your network filtering policies. To install a roaming client, click on the install tab. Here you'll find instructions on how to install the software on your device. You can download the agent for your platform and select the network you want the agent to be bound to. Selecting a network generates a secret key that will be required when installing the roaming client. Once the client is installed, it automatically appears under the Manage tab. Here you can perform the same task of applying policies and block pages as you will with sites. Each roaming client is attached to a site, so it inherits its policy from the site it is bound to. However, you have the ability to override this by applying a specific policy to a roaming client. This also applies to configuring block pages. The status of each roaming client is indicated through the colors of the device icons next to their names. Green indicates a client that is actively receiving traffic at the moment. Yellow means that the client hasn't received traffic in a while and a gray icon indicates that the roaming client has been uninstalled. To edit a roaming client, you can click on the edit button or simply click on the roaming client's name. This allows you to provide a friendly name for the client, switch to a different network or site, or use the admin pane to disable the agent. You can also add tags which help group roaming clients into categories that make them easy to find or to apply a rule to a group of roaming clients. On the Disable tab, you can select a site and get the admin pane that you can use to disable the roaming client. This prevents users from uninstalling roaming clients to bypass the rules set on your network. On the Settings tab, you can turn on Auto Update for your roaming clients. Once this is turned on, roaming clients will automatically check for updates daily and be updated when a new release is available. If you have specific domains you want to resolve locally, Using a local resolver, the local domains tab is where to set this up. Here you can select a network and impute 
the name of the domains or DNS suffixes you want to resolve locally and also provide the information of your local resolvers. If no local resolvers are available or none of them are responding, the client will fail open to allow other DNS resolution operations to continue. Lastly, we have relay deployments. Relays are small pieces of software that perform DNS proxy operations, allowing you to decide where your DNS traffic is channeled to based on the type of request. They have the ability to filter by IP or subnet and offer per machine reporting. Depending on the type of request, you can decide if the request should be forwarded to a local DNS resolver such as an Active Directory controller or handled by us. Speaking of Active Directory, DNS Filter integrates seamlessly with AD using a hybrid deployment setup. You can check out our Active Directory deployment video for more information. Similar to roaming clients, relays are bound to a site and require a secret site key to be set up. This can be gotten here on the installation page. You can set up your relay by installing a binary for any of the available platforms or using a virtual machine or Docker container. Relay deployment is most useful when you need per machine reporting, can't run roaming clients on a device, and you have a dedicated machine to act as a proxy. So there you have it. DNS Filter provides different options for you to set up our threat protection and content filtering services on your network. And with the right deployment option for your use case, you're guaranteed full protection for all users and devices on your network. For more information on the deployments discussed in this video, please visit our knowledge base. You can also check out our channel for videos on specific settings and features. Want to give us a try? Sign up for a free trial on our website. Thanks for watching.